Is Russia a threat to the U.S. or a new partner in combating the emergence of the supposed caliphate of ISIS and ISIL? Well, How would you uh, characterize uh, overall, our Russia? And, you know, and Gloria, you've worked a lot with the, the Russians as well over time. I mean, the, the overall story is that, sadly, from my point of view, Russia has, in recent years, uh, wanted to, and they say this, turn back the clock uh, to another time. And I don't personally think that's good for the Russian people, but that's not my call to make it as the Russian leaderships, and that's the direction they seem to be going. That's creating a lot of problems, first and foremost in Europe. And I described very briefly what we're doing there, um, but there we are having now, for the first time in a quarter century, Gloria, uh, to um, revisit our playbook uh, with NATO and make sure that we can uh, deter and respond to any aggression by Russia, particularly on NATO territory, of the kind of thing we've seen in Ukraine. And it's not just standard aggression, you need to worry about that too, but it's the little green men phenomenon called hybrid warfare. So in Europe, in Syria, the Russians have gotten off to a completely wrong footing. They said they were coming to fight ISIL. That's not what they did. They joined the Syrian civil war on Assad's side, which will have the effect of prolonging the civil war, where they could be helpful if they choose to be, but, but um, haven't been yet, is to persuade Assad to step aside. Because remember, what we need in Syria is an end to this civil war. We don't want the structures of the Syrian state to disintegrate, and there'd be nothing there. So Assad to step aside, the Syrian state to perdure, and the opposition, the moderate opposition, join in that to be the governance of Assyria in the, in the future. That's the path we need to get on. The Russians have a lot of influence uh, with Assad, and so they could use it that way. And then, uh, But that's not what they're doing. So they said they were going to do one thing and uh, are doing another. Now, at, at the moment, the Secretary Kerry has reached agreement with them and, a bunch, and, and many other parties to the Civil War to a cessation of hostilities. That's not an end to the Civil War, but it's a good thing. Uh, reduces the level of violence, and as long as it's adhered to, and we have to watch that, uh, and, 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 and allows humanitarian aid to flow to what is really a, really a very sad situation.